Hi there, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'd like to reintroduce myself. My name is Donna DeRosa. I am the author of The Big Book of Mediterranean Diet Cooking and The Flexitarian Cookbook for Beginners. Today we're going to make a Mediterranean potato salad. So that is a potato salad that does not use mayonnaise. It uses a zesty lemon thyme vinaigrette. I think you're really going to enjoy it. Let me show you how to make it. Here are the ingredients for our potato salad. We have our potatoes. We have our chives freshly picked from the garden and they're actually have some blossoms on them. You can eat the blossoms as well. We also have some celery, a red bell pepper, some scallion, and I'm going to make a vinaigrette out of the lemon. For the vinaigrette, this is the freshly squeezed juice from that lemon. This is the zest from the lemon, which I'm going to add. really going to give it a nice zingy flavor. Here I have salt, pepper, and some dried thyme. And I'm adding a teaspoon of Dijon mustard. And we're filling the rest out with some olive oil. This is extra virgin olive oil. Now we're just going to shake it up. And that is going to be our salad dressing. Here are the cooked potatoes. I've rinsed them off under some cold water. It's okay if they're still a little bit warm, but I want to get some of the starchiness out. And now we're going to add all of our chopped ingredients. So in goes the bell pepper, scallion, celery, and the chives. Adding our vinaigrette. We're going to give everything a gentle toss. The potatoes will absorb a lot of this dressing. So it looks liquidy, but it's going to soak it all up. So just let it rest for a few minutes, let it do its thing. And you can taste it to see if you need to add any more seasoning. Potatoes can take a lot of salt, so you might want to add a little bit more salt, maybe a little more pepper, to your taste. I'll show you how we serve it. And here is our lovely Mediterranean potato salad. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you tried this recipe for yourself and I hope it becomes your new favorite summer salad. I'll see you next time. Bye.